two half pounds. Oh. Wait, I want the kisses. <laughs> oh my word! That's way taller than I thought it was. Just made me happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see that before. It's Sony. I can't get a good picture because of the reflection. Are you having fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a laugh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Her eyes moved, she's like. <laughs> oh. into the oven. <laughs> We pour the blended cocoa beans into large revolving roasters which get extremely hot. Oh, it is hot. It is warmer. <laughs> oh my word, it actually is hot. And feed them into our breaking tube, which pops open the shells at high speed. Inside each shell are tiny pieces called cocoa nibs. We're back there, and there's a mirror back hey, there. A good friend of mine is leaning up ahead to tell us more. Hello, friend. Essing also produces cocoa butter, which we use later on in the process. Cheese milk chocolate is delicious. It's distinctive taste. Part of my job is to make sure all of that milk meets our high quality standards. Once it passes testing, we mix sugar into the milk oh. using large batching tanks. We pasteurize and condense the sweetened milk and then blend in the perfect amount of unsweetened chocolate. <laughs> we shifted a little bit. It felt weird. Oh, oh we're shifting again. Oh. Here's our friend Kiss to explain the next step in the process. Show we've been sitting here for a while. I think it's time to tell you. <laughs> Your breath really not as cute. I don't know. <gasps> There's a pond. You're bright. I'm bright. <gasps> that is the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. <laughs> Normally people say I'm not bright. I can understand that. You 
just took back your compliment. No, I didn't say you weren't. No. I said I can understand why people would, would say that. But that's basically the same thing. No. This is all yours because you wanted to start a video. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. I was just joking. I was just thinking that it would be kind of cool considering <laughs> turkey heel. <laughs> I'm flustered. <laughs> You said you wanted to do oh. a video. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to read something real inspirational. Ready? Okay. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1. Where were you reading that? I wasn't. <laughs> no, I was just saying it from memory, and this helped me remember it, because it says, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. And... <laughs> <laughs> and live the life you have imagined and it's got a compass on it and that reminds me of Genesis 1-1 because the compass shows you which direction you're going and God created the world so there could be directions because we, everyone has a direction for their, <laughs> for their life that he created the world he had a plan for each and every single person which was only one at the time and then he made two and then they multiplied from there that's a different story we all have a direction for our life and this compass leads us there not this one specifically but ones like this and it's called the bible <laughs> it's god's compass for us that he gave to us by his children who were obedient in, in writing the scriptures like John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that he was the way we should have ever <laughs> no no hold on I won't get this right in the big no <laughs> Whosoever believes on him should not perish, but everlasting life. John 3.16. <laughs> there we go. That was a little bit more.